important things to winning and investing is having your own process, doing your own research, doing your own homework. And no matter what anybody else is saying, relying and sticking to your process, trust your process. All the time I get people to say, well, why would you buy that stock? Well, why would you make that investment? And I always say, because that's where my process and my research led me. But, you know, recently I've been buying Ford and I've been very open about buying Ford through Cash App as part of my Cash App portfolio. And again, people have kind of, you know, ridiculed me, throw shade on me, talk a little bit of trash. But listen, let's talk about it. Today is earnings day. So if you want to hear about my Ford investment, meet me on the other side. What up, what up? How's everybody today? Come on, y'all. here, the Finance Rebel. Welcome to my channel. If you are just now coming to my channel or just now discovering me, I talk about all things wealth, stocks, taxes, investments, business. If it's about money, we basically talk about it. My whole mission here for this channel is to help you increase your financial IQ. So today, I wanted to talk about my investment, an investment I made in Ford, Ford Motor Company. I've been buying Ford Motor Company for the last three-ish months or so. And part of the reason I've been buying Ford is to show average everyday investors that they can buy stocks. You don't need a million bucks. You don't need a thousand dollars. You don't need a hundred thousand dollars. All you really need is one dollar. And you can use one dollar buying fractional shares through apps like Cash App, even Robinhood um, to some degree to start investing and start creating a portfolio. Basically, all the barriers are gone now. They're all gone. Basic, average, everyday people can invest in the stock market. However, people are still scared. So that's where I come in. I try to come in and I make it a little bit easier. I explain it. You know, there's plenty of videos here on my channel doing just that. And recently, I've been investing in Ford. Why Ford? Hmm. Well, I brought Ford because it's boring, to be quite frank. Everybody loves all the flashy, all the tech stuff. But I was making a point. Ford's boring. Ford's a quote-unquote old and dying industry. Ford is, it ain't sexy. So if it ain't sexy, nobody's worried about it. But when I look at Ford, I see that Ford has over $35 billion in cash. Right? When I look at Ford, I say, hmm, they are well positioned, right? Because they have a great management team. When I look at Ford, I see they are in a great position for AI and especially as it talks to autonomous driving. So Ford has always kind of been a very well run company and they're doing great. But I explain it to people. You see me talking in other videos here on my channel, but people still kind of get me. Today, today people, Ford's earnings came out. And listen, we are in the middle of Corona and the pandemic, and there's a lot going on. And a lot of other car manufacturers are getting mollywhopped. They're getting hurt. Now, Ford would have lost some money, but they just positioned themselves to do an investment or get an investment from Volkswagen. So they got a capital infusion for Volkswagen. Basically, Volkswagen and Ford are partnering on the AI system that Ford was developing. That's one. Two, stocks doing better. Why? Because sales didn't slow down as much. Okay? So sales are still doing relatively good. I mean, everybody's bad because it's it's the pandemic, right? But Ford somehow is still selling cars. Not as much as they thought, but you know, not as much as they want, rather. Um, but they definitely over over delivered um in this recent quarter. They did better. Than the market expected right so i say all this to say uh one more thing one more thing i forgot and the new order of broncos right orders of broncos the new bronco not the old oj simpson bronco but the new bronco has outdone itself right reservations for it are way higher than expected ah. 
So what does that tell you? Florida is navigating well in this pandemic environment. And while the stock has gotten hit, I'm looking at Ford from a long-term perspective. Command and suggest to all new people, to all new people who are into the market or just getting into the market, I recommend them take a long-term perspective. Don't try to be flashy. Don't try to be sexy. You know, take a couple of dollars and just put it all to the side and let the companies grow and grow that money. Because at the end of the day, we are investing in businesses. So you want to buy good quality businesses. And I think Ford's a good quality business. So that's why I brought it. But again, this is just a little message to all my hecklers who are like, why buy Ford? Right? So then we saw them do better than expected today, making some money, making some right investments. People are still interested in their product. Right? And so for me, Ford is still a good investment. However, had I listened to all the naysayers, all the chicken littles out there that are telling me to run for the hills, I wouldn't be able to profit from it. And it did go up today by 3%. So I'm in it for the long haul. I believe, again, Ford will, is well run and it will do well over time. Um, it's going to position it and take advantage of, of new and existing technologies. So I'm going to stick around for a while.